excited to show you what's next for PC gaming with Ryzen. Our new Ryzen 9000 CPUs are the world's fastest consumer PC processors. Welcome to Taipei, welcome to Machines and More. Uh, we're beginning our coverage today of the show and uh, well, there's going to be a lot of content coming your way so please make sure you just subscribe if you aren't already and uh, that way you can get access to all the latest updates which uh, there's going to be a lot. Today was the opening keynote with Dr. Lisa Su from AMD. I'm happy to show you now our brand new Z5 core. Z5 is actually the next big step in high performance CPUs. It's a ground up design that's extremely high performance and also incredibly energy efficient. You're gonna see Zen 5 everywhere, from supercomputers to data centers and PCs. And when you look at the technology behind this, we have so much new technology. We have a new parallel dual pipeline front end, and what this does is improves graph branch prediction um, accuracy and reduces latency. It also enables us to uh, deliver much more performance for every clock cycle. We also designed Zen 5 with a wider CPU engine and instruction window to run more instructions in parallel for leadership compute throughput and efficiency. Dr. Lisa Su unveiled uh, Ryzen 9000 CPUs or Zen 5 uh, front and center. All of this comes together in the product in Ryzen 9000 series, and we're delivering an average of 16% higher IPC across a broad range of application benchmarks and games. So now, let me show you the top of the line Ryzen 9 9950X for the very first time. There you go. We have 16 Zen 5 cores, 32 threads, up to 5.67 gigahertz boost, a large 80 megabyte cache, at 170 watt TDP. This is the fastest consumer CPU in the world. We're taking this exact same strategy with Socket AM5, which we now plan on supporting through 2027 and beyond. So you're gonna see AM5 processors from us for many, many years to come. Now, in addition to the top of the stack Ryzen 9950X, we're also announcing the 12, 8, and 6 core versions that will bring the leadership performance of Zen 5 to mainstream price points. And all of these go on sale in July. But it also took a back seat because a lot of the attention was on AI and some of the leaps and bounds that AMD has made in that area. It's often beating the competition by a large double digit percentage across a broad range of use, use cases. Um, often making comparisons to NVIDIA's H100 and H200. What caught my attention was the lower TDP for the SKUs. In addition to the, obviously, uh, there should be increased performance and increased IPC. But uh, the lower TDP, it's a big thing for a lot of you. And that means that those of you running small air coolers, Ryzen 9000 is going to be very exciting, especially at the lower end of the spectrum for a gaming build, so 9600X. 9700X, uh, that to me uh, is what I'm very eager, very excited to test. And uh, even though I didn't get to ask Dr. Sue the question directly, I did get a chance to speak with uh, uh, Mr. Jack Wynn, who is the senior VP and GM of the computing graphics business at uh, AMD. And here's what he had to say. I think it's, uh, it's so with Zen 5, yeah. it's not just our uh, fastest and most performing core, but it's also the most energy efficient. So one of our goals right now as we are increasing performance is focusing on better power management and better engineering efficiency. Yep. So it's the total construct of a CPU and a GPU, right? Because when we can enable better engineering efficiency, it actually allows the gamers to overclock, yes. which they love and love, love to do. So we're very big right now and not just increasing performance at higher TV because that's actually easy, mm -hmm. but it's very tough engineering. Yeah is increasing performance at lower TDP, right. right? So that we can actually introduce- That's a big drop. You're talking yes. like a 40 watt right, drop. Because uh, we want to GDP introduce um, uh, a still a better form factor. So one of my big goals um, running the entire organization is power management and power efficiency. Mm. And not just in the mobile space, also in the desktop space. Yeah. 
right? Because we want to have better sustainability, reduce carbon footprint, more energy efficiency. So going forward in our future roadmap, you actually see us uh, focus on perf per watt mm -hmm. and not just perf per dollar. So, you know, so hopefully that's exciting for you. Big on this. I, I, yeah. I personally Small use air coolers and every system. Yeah. And I'm very demanding for right. our engineering team. That's right. right. But no, I think it's 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 the way we're developing our IP. Yeah. So it's a big push on per, per watt. And then the way we're constructing our SOC. And then also using the latest process technology um, from our partners such as TSMC. I think that entire combination allows us mm -hmm. um, to create the best process in the world. But also lower teeth, which is extremely difficult to do, mm -hmm. right? So I'm, I'm glad you caught that. Oh, yeah, no. I'm glad you I caught that. That was yes. uh, kind of what drew my yes. attention yes. right away. Definitely, so. definitely. Appreciate your time. Of course, thank of course, you so anytime. Okay. I'm glad we're getting Ryzen 9000 soon. It certainly looks very promising. So stay tuned. Definitely a lot of preparation still uh, going on. So let me take you uh, kind of behind the scenes. So let's see what things look like right now, because I can tell you it's busy and it's messy. And a lot of people are working very hard uh, to get this show here. So hope you'll stick with us over the next few days. And uh, you know, the coverage, you're going to see a lot of new products. And uh, talk to some of our friends at the channel here. You smell strongly of exhaust in here with all these trucks driving around on the convention floor. This is a uh, welcome to copy death. Thunder preparation, which is interesting. It starts tomorrow. We would think we'd be a little bit closer, but uh, that's how these things go sometimes. I'm sure they'll be ready. And one of the things we're doing differently this year is a hospitality lounge over on the fourth floor. You can sit down and get a free pineapple cake and a free tea, and that's a welcome treat. That's awesome. This is uh, from Sunny Hills. It's just the sights and sounds of uh, Computex 2024 preparations underway. The show officially starts tomorrow, and I hope to see all of you soon there. Remember, please stay subscribed and uh, check out the links down below. Support the channel. Please give a like and I'll see you tomorrow.